beams are so annoying. Down, down, don't make me duck. What are we gonna do? Stop it. Give me that. Let go. How come the Fred Beast Boy does not have the pet peeve? Because I knows how to master my pet peeves, Mama. Ain't nothing bothers me. Well, maybe if we ignore them, they'll go away. Ay, come on, not on the rug! <laughs> nah, you can't just ignore them. And you fools better watch out, because these pet peeves is about to get way worse, yo. <laughs> Did you just do the absorbing of my pet peeve? Robin, must you do the exercises now? I can't control it! Your pet peeve is making me do it! I find it the very annoying. You think I'm enjoying this? Yes. Okay, maybe a little. My buns are getting quite a workout. One and two and one and two and double time it now! One and two and one and two I think and I am going to be the sick. Just ignore it, Star. Raven is right, don't worry your head. Now I'm gonna make a snack, yeah, start with the bread. Add that turkey, ham and cheese. Enough with the singing, Cyborg. I'm not in the mood. I can't help myself. I'm being controlled by your pet peeve, your pet peeve. <laughs> so annoying! I all of the sudden have the urge to trim the nails. <laughs> Do your mind start fire? I'm trying to eat. Girl, you need to be a little bit more discreet. My apologies, Cyborg, but your pet peeve is forcing me to perform the public grooming. <laughs> Guys, relax. None of these pet peeves are a big deal. Why is it bothering you? Yes, but it's fine. I'm not gonna let a stupid little peeve get to me. I am a master of self-control. Good, because I like to make sure I get every last drop. See, it's not a problem. Raven! Don't scream at me. It's bad enough I have to listen to Cyborg's terrible singing. Oh no, she didn't insult my singing. See what I mean? So, how did you sleep? Terrible. Yeah, it's a super comfy room. Hey, we're going to watch some TV. Want to join us? Quality time with my new roomies. Let's do it. My bad. Mm, I like to float above that spot. Sorry. Reserved for the leader of the Teen Titans. Of course. Nope. Hey, hey, hey! Can't you see them as my booty grooves? All nice and warm's like. I'll just sit over there on the floor. Cool. But I pee's there. Smell that? I pee there too. Uh huh. That's my scent. Mm mm mm. Pee there too. You guessed it. I pee's there. I'll stand. Hey, down in front. The show's about to start. Move it, Bumbles. Bumbles. <laughs> I love it. You got some new nickname. Bumbles. 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 Please don't call me Bumbles. 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 Bumbles has quite a temper. Sorry. That's not like me. I'm just feeling a little off. I better finish unpacking. <laughs> Monster roommates. Oh, <laughs> Ha, 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 ha!
Goodness gracious. <gasps> Did she get... Oh, what? You're mad that we didn't save any slices for you? Well, hopefully next time, Bumbles will be more thoughtful and buy enough for everyone. <laughs> Don't tell me she's mad again. Definitely seems like she's got a bad attitude. And she's leaving this nasty slime everywhere. So rude. I believe I know the cause of her hostile behavior. It is because of our behavior. We have not made her feel the welcome here. Yeah, but we warned her we were terrible roommates. Yes, but it is difficult to enter the new living arrangement. Starfire's right. We didn't make things easy on her. I'd be leaving slime trails too if I had to deal with us. Us being monster roommates must have made her one, too. I think we owe her an apology. Bumblebee? Where'd she go? There she is! She looks mad. Oh! Ah! Ouch! Friend Bumblebee, it was you who told us that the key to the healthy relationship is the open communication. What Star's trying to say is, we're sorry. Ah, he knows we've been bad roomies. But don't let that turn you into a monster, too. Well, Bumblebee, we wanted to start things off fresh. And that's why we got a new couch. We can all sit upon the this one. You can say that again. <laughs> <laughs>